let's identify what do we actually mean by disability. Because that's been bandied around quite a bit. So let's talk about that. Um, the World Health Organization came out with a, a definition that most of the disability organizations around the world now adhere to. And I'll read it to you. A person who has identified or self-identifies as having a physical, psychological, intellectual or sensory disability or a combination of these, which is likely to continue for a minimum of six months and the results of which is a reduction in independent function or social well-being to the extent that ongoing support is required. So that is the world health definition of a disability. The key things there are that it is ongoing, more than six months, could be a combination of a number of dis disabilities, but functionally you're reduced and also you need some form of support in your day-to-day -day activities. Other words that you hear bandied about are things like barriers, removing the barriers, and you'll hear words like impairment. What's an impairment compared to what's a disability? So, three things you need to think about here. The first one is impairment, the word impairment. Impairment means any loss or ab abnormality of psychological, physiological, or anatomical structure or fu function. That means some form of loss to the way you operate. That's the impairment. Disability. The disability is a restriction or lack of ability to perform the activity in a manner in which the range of normal human beings would, would interact. I'll give you some examples in a minute. Barriers. The disadvantages uh, for given individuals result from their impairment or their disability that limits or inhibits them to fulfill their roles, depending on age, sex, and social cultural values for that individual. So when we come to talk about barriers later on, I'll give you some examples and we will um, look at those. Let's run through those three things again. And let's say someone who is an amputee. So an amputee, and under the heading of an impairment is the loss of a limb. Simple. The disability is inability to use the limb. The barriers are unable to tie their own shoelaces, maybe to climb stairs, maybe to walk long distances, those sort of things. So one is what is the impairment, what causes the disability, what are the barriers that do not help. Let's do another one. Someone, for example, who has Alzheimer's. The impairment is the loss of memory. The disability is the inability to recall events and times. The barriers, they cannot be relied on. The information given from the brain is not as accurate as it should be. And the last example I'll give, someone maybe who has received a back injury from a driving accident. The impairment is a damaged, damaged spinal cord. The disability is pain in joints and restricted movements, inability to lift, sit for prolonged periods. The barriers cannot lift heavy weights. So that just gives you an example of those three words. You see them quite often getting mixed up and uh, yeah, let's, let's try and keep them as we should.